Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and let's just get right into it. It is breakup season. Let us catch up on all things math. It's been a while since I updated you guys on all that's been happening on maths, but we just have a lot to talk about today. So let's just hop on right in. Now guys, I know I've missed just coming on here to give you some good goss. That's because there's been nothing to talk about. There's been a few, you know, drama along the way with our current, or should I say, soon to be ex uh, math superstars because come next year, we will have a new entrant into the celebrity marriage seeking wannabes. So, Yes, but whilst we are still on the uh, <laughs> couples whose uh, 20 minutes of fame is, has uh, just, you know, fizzed out, we just need to give you a bit more update uh, as to what's happening, or what's not happening in their lives. And this is the juicy part, guys. I am living for this. Let's just, I, I know it comes <laughs> it's it comes it comes like it feels like a mean when i run my commentary on this particular house uh a marriage at first sight couple but i mean it is what it is they have decided that uh controversy was their game and they sold it well and it's no surprise that we are here talking about them 10 months you know into the relationship or 10 months post-production so i i think this broke last night so only i saw um nine news very early this morning popped up on my feed saying uh breaking news olivia and uh jack louis have parted ways and uh, i decided okay nine news thank you for the update i'm going to the sauce <laughs> So at uh, exactly probably six o'clock this morning, because this is when I was just getting ready to go to work, and I do flicker through my newsfeed to see what's happening and what's not happening. And there you go, Olivia and Jack. Olivia put out a statement, which you're gonna see on the screen here now, that uh, you know she was very solemn about it. It's been ten months of whatever chaos, and uh, well, and now they have decided to go their separate ways. They've both chosen to go their separate ways. It's all love from here. They're gonna be good friends. Blah yada 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 whatnot. Do you guys buy any of this? No, I don't. But again, this is coming off the the train wreck that was um jack when he he was caught with his pants down or with, he was caught with his mouth or lips on another lady at a party or at a nightclub I'm not sure where he was when that photo was taken and he tried to defend himself by saying alcohol was to blame alcohol took the fall for that one and olivia backed them in and they decided okay how do we play this well only fan was like the trick of trade and so they both joined only fans guess what let's go back i remember i wrote a commentary on this too and i said it wasn't going to last and we were like please jack let this chick go i said that right and jack you know he's whatever refused and kept on the shenanigans with this chick and 10 months post-production the relationship has crashed donezo they like splitville don 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 whilst we're in the topic of splitville it's like i said splitville season breakup season chloe the kardashians i don't really follow them much i'm just gonna just touch them we i think last week kim broke up with her boyfriend or her boyfriend pate broke up with kim and then we heard that um chloe and her investor businessman whatever stockbroker they've parted ways after she announced the bet of her newborn baby that came via surrogate congratulations to chloe by the way but that's exactly what it is guys yes breakup season these celebrities don't really know how to hold on to or stay long in relationship i know it's hard work the relationship is hard work it is hard work but what i think people are lacking is that patience the understanding compassion it's not really about you when you're in a relationship it's you know amalgamation or coming together of two people from different backgrounds from different uh, uh nationalities or what have you and from different perspectives you are coming into this and you have got your own views about life your own ways of doing things and if you bring that in and say my way or the highway your relationship is doomed from the start 
you just need to understand that compromise is essential in growing a happy healthy relationship but i'm not a relationship expert so i can't really be giving you relationship advice right now i'm talking about chloe um sorry madame olivia and her now ex-lover jack so let's just get right more let's get more into that juice A little bit distracted in what is around happening around me so i'm going to try and f zoom in and just continue on with my conversation so yeah like we said i saw this coming i saw this breakup coming they had they tried all they could it started off with her coming off as pansexual well that didn't really sell well and then she you know gave up all of the guilt tripping stories like feel sorry for me i'm the victim here i didn't do this i did that you know all of those um instagram question q a's that she held and then she tried to defend herself as against the um photo uh up or photo uh, fo following the um or, or um on uh, the saga that happened while she was on the show she tried to be very defensive you know photo uh the 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 revelation or trying to defend yourself after you've done something wrong you know just admit it say sorry and we will understand and be done with but she refused to admit it and kept on being defensive about the whole situation which has actually led to you know the uh, low take when it comes to her rise in popularity outside of married at first sight and so when that happened you don't gain a lot of fans you just get a lot more haters and so pansexual uh, um uh pool didn't work for her and then you know they decided that only farm was going to be the thing that would work to at least give her a little bit of income coming in because we all know what happened uh following the show's uh, uh, in, uh airing she lost her teaching job she lost a lot more things i don't think she was suitable to uh, um, um brands because who wants to um so who wants to have someone with a very bad character or very oh i say misplaced priorities right now to represent your brand i would not be buying anything that this girl endorses hell to the no trust and believe that i will not buy and so now that she's left um luke or whatever this guy is jack i hope that she can maybe take some time off for herself and just reevaluate things and just redefine whatever olivia wants to redefine her life as and i hope that works in the long run for her because in this instance it is hard to tell what this girl's state of mind is right now she might be devastated with this uh, um breakdown of her relationship who knows but yeah that's exactly one of the gist and whilst we are on the subject of uh, breakup and uh, whatever oh my god do you remember Sally carolina from maths the cheater gate that happened in maths this season carolina and the guy she cheated with or whatever his name is now i can't remember guys <laughs> yeah so um, in in the same vein i'm just gonna pop his own post he came up and was like uh i know there's all this talk about my affairs with carolina i just want to reiterate that we have gone our separate ways like that you guys the show you left the show in a bad light you guys left the show with a bad taste in our mouth you both left your partners and decided to switch partners and you thought that you were going to go the long haul outside of the um what was outside of the experiment how was that going to work for the both of you i can tell you for a fact that we all knew it wasn't going to work carolina felt that she knew it all she felt she had the right she made the right decision she felt she was going to you know literally go to um uh, walk the aisles with this dude but sadly if what that's not how it works relationship that's been built on lies really 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 never last you can patch it as much as you like but guess what it is still going to uh, i'm not be able to stand the test of time when the pressure you know of the outside world really gets into you know how you both manage whatever you have going on that's exactly what happened for carolina and her boo guy and so he probably just felt uh olivia Han and jack has broken up let me take um a little bit of fame off of their 
uh, notoriety or let me take a little bit of heat and also say that oh i have parted ways with carolina girl, girl stop it or guys stop it we really don't care <laughs> and you were there for like what one week three days and yeah don't stop trying to sell us your storyline we're not buying it and good luck to whatever it is you're doing outside of the show okay <laughs> Yeah, that's it, guys. So, Olivia and Jack, they've gone separate ways. Thank God. <laughs> Wish them all the best. In saying that, I am happy that they are split for It's about time. And I hope OnlyFans work well for them separate really. <laughs> separately. <laughs> oh, no. Check out of OnlyFans. It will not do you good. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say in, on my news, uh, math news update. Until next time where I come on here and draw some more commentary on this crazy shows. Uh, take care and stay safe. Bye for now.